a new MacBook means a new MacBook for programming video. Before getting into the test, I want to specify that this is the base model 14-inch MacBook Pro with the M3 Pro chip. As usual, I like to start the MacBook for programming reviews with Xcode. Using Xcode is a very smooth experience and I was able to run personal projects on the simulator with no issues at all. To get a better understanding of how well it performs, I ran the Xcode benchmark project from GitHub for more standardized results. The GitHub repo shows a list of results from other popular Apple computers to compare performance. Before running the benchmark test, it's important to follow the instructions by turning off the Wi-Fi, disabling all software running at startup, updating the battery settings, and rebooting the MacBook. With the MacBook plugged in, I can now run the test. The M3 Pro MacBook Pro ran the test in 109 seconds. For comparison, the M3 MacBook Pro ran it in 137 seconds. When it comes to web development, a MacBook is definitely a good option. However, I would always recommend getting at least 16GB of unified memory so that it can smoothly handle multiple browser windows and programming software. To get an idea of how well it might perform for web development, I ran the speedometer browser benchmark. This benchmark uses demo web applications to simulate user actions such as adding to-do items. The M3 Pro MacBook Pro got a score of 484 runs per minute. In comparison, the M3 MacBook Pro got a score of 348 runs per minute. As usual with Python tests, I like to start with the Python Mandelbrot algorithm as it stresses the CPU to test how powerful it is. The M3 Pro MacBook Pro ran it in only 29 seconds. For comparison, the M3 MacBook Pro ran it in 40 seconds. Next, I ran the TensorFlow autoencoder. Before running the test, I set up the development environment using Anaconda as it is a very popular Python package manager. The autoencoder ran the 10 input images and it took the neural network only 13 seconds to reconstruct these images. Because some recent MacBooks had issues with SSD speeds, I wanted to run some SSD speed tests. Using the Blackmagic SSD speed test, the M3 Pro MacBook Pro averaged read speeds of around 4600 megabytes per second and write speeds of around 4200 megabytes per second. The M3 MacBook Pro for comparison showed read speeds around 3000 megabytes per second and write speeds around 3300 megabytes per second. If you are someone who uses multiple external monitors, you will be happy to know that the M3 Pro chip supports up to two external displays simultaneously. The configuration available will depend on the resolution and refresh rate of each external display. That's all for this review. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.